I was in a meeting the other day, and for those of you that don't know, I do work at Microsoft, and I looked over to my colleague Mo, and I was like, what are you doing using Notepad to take your notes in? We've got so many other tools. You've got OneNote, you've got Sticky Notes, you can use Copilot to just transcribe and let AI give you the notes after. What are you doing using Notepad? And he's like, oh, just, it's a habit when I just wanna take down quick notes, I've always launched uh, Notepad and you've dotted things down. And by the way, Notepad now has Copilot. I was like, what? Uh, so I did check it out and we now have Copilot in Notepad. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you a few tips and tricks on how to use Copilot inside of Notepad. So let's go have a look at all this Copilot goodness within Notepad. The first thing you wanna do, of course, is launch into Notepad. What you see in the top right hand corner is the very familiar Copilot symbol. This is in preview. Um, one thing I do wanna call out is that to actually use any of these features, you do need an account, either an M365 personal, family, or a business account that has access to Copilot. So I'm gonna go ahead and sign on in because if I try to do it right now, I met with this message saying a subscription is required and it does need to be an M365 personal, family, or a work account. So I'll go ahead and sign on in. To continue with this Copilot inception, I've asked Copilot to create a story about using Copilot in Notepad. Let's go ahead, copy that. We can paste it in here. Let's go full screen. And now we have some content to work with. The first thing I wanna show you is that if you drop down the Copilot option, you get a few choices and this is gonna work on the entire body of text where you can rewrite it or summarize. You even have some quick shortcuts like Control D, Control M. You can make it shorter or longer. You can change the tone or you can change the format. But what I wanna show you here is that if you highlight just a page or sorry, a paragraph, you can drop down that Copilot option and you can choose any of these as well. I'm simply gonna select on rewrite. Instead of doing the entire document, it's just gonna use Copilot on the bit that I have highlighted. What you see here is probably a very familiar dialog box, which you can move around, key, key tip there. Uh, and then it gives you three different options of rewriting that sentence. You can quickly change the length of it to write something similar, shorter, or longer. You can change the tone into some of these preset tones. You can even change the format. You can jump ahead and choose which different versions you like. You can copy it and paste it somewhere else if you wanted to. You can hit replace, which would just replace the option or what you've written. And that would just replace the content that you've written. If you do not like any of these current versions, you can simply head, hit on the try again option. So let's change this around a little. Length, let's make this a bit shorter as, uh, actually let's make it a bit of a marketing format and we've given a few options here. Hit the refresh button and this is going to rewrite that text with Copilot. Uh, and you can see here, we now have six different options to choose from. Our original three plus the three more with the different prompts that we've given it. I'm gonna give you a quick tip here in that we can go ahead and copy this uh, and then we can discard our writing and go ahead and paste it down the bottom if we wanted to, uh, and that gives you a different way of keeping your original text and then sort of comparing and contrasting, or we can highlight it, call up Copilot one more time to help us rewrite this. And if you're happy with the option that it's given you, simply hit on replace, and that will replace it with um, what it's provided. You can see it's really snappy, it's really quick, right? I'm gonna go ahead and delete this guy right now. Now we're gonna work with the entire content inside of Notepad. Let's drop down Copilot one more time. Let's go ahead and change the format. Let's make this a bit of a list. So it's gonna grab the entire text. It's gonna rewrite it with Copilot. A couple of seconds later, you can see it's now turned it into a bit of a list. But to me, that's still a bit too much text. So what I wanna do now is of course make it shorter. Tone, well, for making a list, I want it to be uh, let's make it formal because we're making it into a list and then we're gonna ask it to try again. And you can see here, now we have a great dot point of whatever the content is here. I like the first one because it is much shorter. Let's go ahead and hit replace on that. And there you have it. That's how you can use Copilot inside of Notepad. I guess you do learn something every day. I learned that you can use Copilot inside of Notepad. Thank you, Mo, for pointing this out. Of course, if you guys like this video, let me know by giving it a thumbs up. If you want to supercharge raise your computer, hit that subscribe button as well. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye.